Hello, witches, wizards, and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts school letters, welcome to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is the YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes for all of the food and drink that we find inside. If you missed last week's recipe where we made a magical red cabbage and chocolate cake decorated as the grounds of Hogwarts with the Whomping Willow, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if you're new to the kitchen and you want to see some more Harry Potter inspired recipes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new recipe. Speaking of which, let's head back into the chamber. So we're back to chapter four at Flourish and Blots to see what's next. So Hagrid has now helped Harry find his way back to Diagon Alley and he's been reunited with the Weasleys and they've also met up with Hermione. So now Harry is telling Ron and Hermione about the Malfoys being in Borgin and Burks and then they're off to Gringotts. So they need to get some money to buy all of their school supplies. So Harry has got quite a bit of money and they're about to head to Flourish and Blots to buy their books for year two and then he is just dying to spend all of that change so I can see our next recipe he bought three large strawberry and peanut butter ice creams which they slurped happily. Looks like it's time for another ice cream recipe. If you'd like to recreate these magical peanut butter jelly ice cream sandwiches then all of the ingredients, measurements and instructions are up on my website bradleybakes.co.uk. The link is down below description. As soon as I read peanut butter and strawberry I immediately thought of peanut butter jelly sandwiches and even though we've already made ice cream sandwiches this series I thought we'd mix things up a bit and transform this one to look like actual sandwiches with peanut butter and jam inside. So for this we're gonna make my easy three ingredient ice cream recipe and then we're gonna make a peanut butter ice cream as well and some strawberry jam syrup then layer that up so it looks like a physical sandwich. First things first is our ice cream layer as this needs time to set and this is what you need to do. For my easy homemade ice cream recipe you need to pour some double cream into your mixing bowl and then whisk until it forms soft peaks. Add in your condensed milk and your vanilla and then keep on whisking until it forms stiff peaks. For our bread layer of the ice cream sandwiches you want to line a rectangle tin with some cling film. I like to do this twice just to make it nice and easy to get out later. Spoon in most of your mixture and then use a spatula to level it off. To make your peanut butter ice cream, you want to place your peanut butter and some cocoa into a bowl. We're only using a little bit of cocoa to give it the colour, but not too much of the chocolatey flavour. You then want to add in about a third of your ice cream and stir that through to loosen it up. You can then add in another third and fold that through just to make sure it doesn't over whip. And then once that's evenly combined, then add in your last third and stir through. You can place this into a Tupperware box and pop the lid on top as we're not too worried about the shape, we're going to whisk it up later. And then both of your ice creams need to go into the freezer to set for at least four hours. Okay, so while our ice cream is setting, we're gonna move on to making our strawberry jammy syrup. And the reason I'm calling it a jammy syrup is because it's kind of halfway between the two. It's not quite as thin as the typical syrup you serve with your ice cream, but it's also not as thick as a traditional jam. So we're gonna play around with the ratio of fruit to sugar and the temperature we bring it up to the boil to to make sure you get a great consistency. And what's even better about this recipe is you can put it into an airtight jar in the fridge and then you can keep it up for up to a month. So whenever you you get a craving for some ice cream with some sauce or a knickerbocker glory like we made last season it's ready and waiting for you to begin you want to prepare your fruit take your strawberries and make sure they're nicely washed and then you want to remove the stems and leaves you can then chop these into rough chunks place a pan on a medium heat and then add in your strawberries your sugar and your lemon juice we're going to bring this up to the boil for about five minutes. You can do this by eye and wait till it coats the back of a spoon and leaves a mark when you slide your finger through. Or if you're being a little bit more precise, you want to get it to around 100 degrees Celsius. To make sure we get as much strawberry goodness in as possible, I've let it cool for one to two minutes and then poured the jam into a blender. Place the lid on top, give it a good blitz until nice and smooth, and then you can either choose to have this with seeds or without. If you'd like it seedless, pour it into a sieve, press it through, and then leave to cool. So we've got our bread layer ready, our peanut butter layer, and our 
our strawberry jam layer ready as well. So we could just serve them up as they are, but it's my Harry Potter kitchen, so we'd like to go the extra mile to make it look just like a real sandwich. For this, we're gonna add a few extra steps of decoration in there. First up, I'm gonna use some nuts to make a crumb to go around our bread layer, and then we're gonna slice up what we've got in the freezer already to present our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Place your hazelnut onto a board and then chop into nice, fine pieces. Remove your rectangle of ice cream from the freezer and then carefully take it out of the tin. Remove the cling film and then cut it into triangles. I'm then gonna take my blowtorch and lightly melt the sides before dipping them into the hazelnuts. You want to work as quickly as possible before it starts melting. So coat all the outsides of your pieces of bread and then pop them back into the freezer until you're ready to serve. Remove your peanut butter ice cream from the freezer and leave it on the side for about a minute. You then want to place that into your mixing bowl and whisk it so it goes lovely and fluffy. Once it's nicely whipped, it can then go back into the freezer until you're ready to serve. Once your guests have arrived for the peanut butter jelly ice cream party, it's time to get stacking. Place your bread layers down first and then spread the jam sauce over one side and the peanut butter ice cream over the other. Then all that's left to do is carefully sandwich them together and your peanut butter jelly ice cream sandwiches are good to go. And with that, our recipe is complete. It's a super easy ice cream recipe, but with a little bit of my Harry Potter kitchen magic, you'll be able to whip something up that will trick your friends and it just might be the sweetest peanut butter jelly sandwich they've ever had. That's all for this week's recipe, but if you want to see more from my Harry Potter kitchen, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, and then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new recipe. I'm about to enjoy my lunch or dessert, and I'll see you next week. I've never spooned a sandwich, but I could get used to this. <laughs>